Hello everyone! By the end of this tutorial you will have everything you need to create these stunning animations. You will get a ton of valuable insights, the kind of information people usually pay for. I found this animation on Soulmate Weasels on Instagram, he gets millions of views on every similar video, so highly recommend you to check out his page. And guys, if you are a beginner in the After Effects and you want to boost your animation skills, just watch the next 10 seconds. I just want to say that if you want to learn After Effects faster, yeah, if you are a complete beginner, I made a special tutorial for you. You can now watch different breakdowns and tutorials about After Effects and be closer to me, so we will keep in touch. You can ask me different stuff, yeah, about After Effects, everything. So guys, I will just put down below the link on my website and you can check it out later. So guys, we are already in the After Effects and this is the animation what we are going to make today. And uh, this animation is pretty easy and despite the fact we have this uh, looks like a 3D uh, person thing over here, yeah. And the first time I seen this person, I thought like this was made uh, in Blender or Cinema 4D, I don't know, somewhere with the 3D software. But uh, no, I found the way and it's very easy, uh, all inside After Effects. So don't want to take a lot of your time uh, let's start with uh, creating this graph yeah. so guys i rapidly tried to make this animation i already recreated it let's create the new composition it's over here and um, we are going to just choose any preset you want here we go we just need to create a graph yeah. in this animation i created the similar to our uh, footage so this is the similar graph what we have uh, over here but guys you just can make um, your own graph so just use your pen tool i set about three pixel stroke and i think it's pretty enough so we can make it like this to make the same similar animation we need to uh, divide this graph on three parts so uh, left side green uh, center red one and uh, another one uh, from the right so the same here we created for example this uh, graph yeah it's uh, our right graph uh, left but from this uh, graph we are going to create uh, one more but it will uh, go somewhere here yeah the bottom and we will just change the color here and that's it after that we are going to create one more shape it will go somewhere here uh, we just need to change the color here to green uh, you can even like copy the color code here and paste it over here so they will be similar and we have the graph like this it's not perfect graph guys but i'm just making it uh, to show you technique Guys, I will share uh, this project file with you in my Discord server, so you will be able to download it, it's absolutely for free, you're welcome. Uh, so let's return back to our graph and uh, here guys we are starting from this, um, this lines, yeah, what we can see here. Like here and like here, they used glowing for it and it looks really cool. The same we are going to make right now. So guys, uh, for it we need to duplicate the shape layer. So we have this shape layer, let's turn off this one. And here we are going to find the trim pass, open it. Let's choose our um, like a distance of our line. I want it to be like this. And guys, then just uh, open this expression. Um, I opened it, used Albaran, as you can see. Uh, so we just need to make it in this way. Time multiplied by 200, I think it will be enough. So we can see now how it moves. And like this line is infinite and I like how it looks. Uh, the next step guys, we are going to uh, make this shape visible. Now we cannot see any difference because they are similar, uh, but if we will uh, create a new composition from uh, our trim past line here, we are going to find the glow effect, we can see it. Here we are going to make some changes with the glow. Uh, basically using the regular one, I like to duplicate several times for example like this for example like this yeah something like and maybe it will be enough or maybe 
better to make more so guys it's up to you you will make it as you wish uh, to duplicate it just press ctrl d on your keyboard and uh, it's pretty easy so let's uh, remove this one and leave just uh, both of these two goals we have this line already running and it looks really good so guys you can make it in the same way with these uh, two lines and guys we are coming up to the main secret how to create this person how to animate it how to make it uh, so realistic it's really crazy uh, guys here i have this uh, footage let me find it yeah i just found this uh, person and i decided to check how it will be so it's like bad version what we can use but uh, anyway uh, it's pretty funny and let's try it together so guys i used uh, roto brush and double clicked on this uh, footage and here i want to select this person we need to get rid of uh, these white uh, faces so but we are not going to make it perfect because it's not appropriate footage and we are not going to make something like uh, really really good from this uh, footage but guys i'm just trying to show you the main technique uh, so let's uh, close this and we have this person yeah so for example by the way let's add the camera and let's add the uh, null object uh, we are going to make everything in 3d uh, so from this we are going to make this person is really small so for example it will stay somewhere here i don't know uh, guys as i said i'm not trying to make everything perfect because i just want to uh, give you information and knowledge how to make it so guys now let's uh, find the fill after you found the fill just uh, apply it to our uh, roto brush person and select the color white and guys just imagine for example it's person what i just found on pixabay yeah um, but just imagine you can even use the footage for example you uh, shot yourself yeah on the camera any movement you want and then you make the roto brush and after that you just making the feel to yourself uh, making yourself white and you will have the same footage we have here so for example probably this guy who made it uh, he made these movements by himself uh, I'm sure but uh, maybe he used uh, any good footage or he as I said uh, shot it like himself on the camera uh, anyway it looks pretty cool and you can use it as you wish so as I said, I found this uh, footage in internet on Pixabay website, yeah, but you can make it uh, as well. Uh, very, very, very easy. So now, guys, uh, let's uh, find our null. And guys, uh, I forgot to connect every this shape to our null. So now we can make different stuff with our camera. So guys, I will leave it just like that. Uh, we will save this uh, position uh, using this keyframe and we will, I don't know, let's set it somewhere here. So we set it, uh, this uh, keyframe a bit in front and after that we are going to scale back here. So very easy and my personal recommendation uh, use uh, f9 or make it in this way to make your keyframe easiest and uh, let's use them and i want to make it in this way so it will be like like this yeah it's good so guys uh i think that's all i showed you very cool technique with creating the same person yeah and you can make a lot of different animation making it it's just your imagination yeah and uh, your practice so everything i just showed you very cool very cool feature and i like it so much uh probably this information must be paid i don't know but i'm just want to show you this for free absolutely i uh, love you all guys and thank you so much for your support goodbye we'll see you soon in the next videos